Ready to pilot us all the way to bedtime, Captain Summers? Bedtime? No, not yet. Hmm. Perhaps we can do the pre-flight checklist first, Captain? Yes, please. Oh, well, I suppose we can do that. Have you brushed your wee teeth? Yep, see? Oh, my. <laughs> Very sparkly. Do you have all your equipment? Check. And do you have enough hugs for the trip? Mm, no. More, please. Oh. <laughs> oh, are you super duper tired, my boy? <sighs> no. <laughs> you have the coolest job, Mum. I'm a wee one. I do. Any last requests, Captain? A hot chocolate, perhaps. Oh, he's just brushed his... Don't listen to her, Newtie. Auntie Ash is being devilish again. <laughs> hmm. I want... Oh, can you sing me a song? Well, highly unorthodox, Captain, but... I think I can arrange it. All right, settle down now. Dreams to sell, fine dreams to sell. Angus is here with dreams to sell. Hush now, we think. Oh. We launch in 13 bloody hours, dears. Oh, honestly, what are they teaching in PhD programs these days? It's okay, Mom. Go make the ship safe. So you come home. Oh, Newton. We can sing the song together when you get back. The kingdom needs a hero, remember? Aye. And a hero needs something to come back to, my boy. Sorry, sorry. Took forever to set up the ramp and fireballs for my big entrance. Okay. <clears throat> Duardo Silva was a loving father. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> and a devoted... Husband. <laughs> Trust me, wives one through five didn't write this speech. You know what's crazy? He wasn't loving or devoted. But he was my pops. I'm supposed to be sad. But instead I feel... Light? Like, if I hit a jump pad, I just float away. Like, in a good way. Is that bad? Um... Sorry, um... <clears throat> Come, my friend. Oh, uh, I'm done. Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> ah, damn! Should've streamed my entrance. Should I do it again? I would say... no. Welcome back. We're joined in studio by Revenant, the Apex game's most controversial legend. <clears throat> now, Revenant, care to explain where your new shell came from? Okay. Well, tell us this. Is it true you switched bodies to avoid repercussions for the heinous murders you've committed, including the slaying of James McCormick on this very show? 
You know, most of us don't understand, so perhaps you could enlighten us. How is it that you're still part of the Apex Games? <laughs> is it true you have a secret army at your disposal? Are you even in control of- <laughs> I'm sorry, I checked out. So, you were saying... Okay, no, no, that can't be. Mary, calm yourself. It might not be a loop, but if it is, well, unless it's a different loop. Oi, Doctor, nice blueprint. You designed one of Duardo's things? Me? But I... What? The plaque says Duardo's relic was unearthed decades ago. On the other side of the bloody galaxy, no less. The thing is, Rowena, dear, I dreamt it up a week ago. This exact thing. Which can only mean... <gasps> it works. What works? Time travel, darling. Oh, bloody time travel. Delaga, does that mean you'll be reunited with your son soon? Well, I don't know. Oh, we're just using a good creative temporal paradox. No. No, those aren't good. Uh, you wouldn't let anything bad happen. And if it's for family, isn't any risk worth it? Aye. Oh, you've a good heart, pet. No. I could build it. But some elements are, shall we say, a wee bit totally hypothetical. Why not enter that contest the Syndicate is putting on? Top prize is a trophy, and the winner gets to choose one thing from Duardo Silva's private collection. Uh, really? Well, hardly the only timely coincidence today, though, is it? All right, then. I'll win it. For Newton. You pulled out all the stops, Horizon, but not enough stops to stop the Orc train! <laughs> I... I suppose so, dearie. Yo, saw you eyeballing this at the museum. It's all yours, amiga. Octavio, you won, so you get to keep one of your dad's relics. I am one of his relics. Besides, it's nice to see it go from a deadbeat dad to a good mama. Oh, Octavio, you're a good boy. Nay, nee, man. Ah, you say that, but I'm keeping the trophy. Shiny. 